the mTOR pathway it starts with a molecule called the PI3 kinase, which is a master um, protein in many cancer cells, which is activated either through cell surface receptors or a variety of other means, and it um, downstream activates a protein called AKT, which through a series of steps activates a molecule called mTOR, which causes cell uh, growth, proliferation, and also promotes um, new blood vessel formation. And all of those things are very important to cancer cell survival. There is data to suggest that um, the most aggressive kidney tumors are, uh, have high AKT levels. And there's also data to suggest that um, kidney cancers that are, have um, associated with a lot of poor prognostic clinical features in the patient, such as anemia, um, high calcium, high lactate dehydrogenase, a poor performance status by the patient, or a short disease free interval from the initial diagnosis to the time of treatment are things that are associated with the poor outcome and the initial studies um, that led to the approval of the drug Temsorolimus or Toracel were conducted in that poor prognostic patient population and that was the group that was shown to have the most benefit. This drug has been shown in a phase three trial comparing this drug as a single agent to the previous standard interferon in this largely poor prognostic patient group to prolong overall survival by 50% relative to interferon alone. It is the first drug in many years to be able to show that it can prolong overall survival in a population of patients with kidney cancer.